Kisses are Mario, Alangal John, Mikeus.com Mario, John Sam Nana. And today's quiz code is 825591. And you can also join through your, your browsers by join myqs.com. Please join for the quiz. Everyone can join for the quiz. In today's quiz, we will be continuing from the last question that was the 16th question. Please, everyone, join for the quiz first. Everyone can join for this quiz. There is no difference between photo students or other students. Everyone now here, welcome here to join this quiz and gain knowledge. Please join for the quiz first. I'm so sorry for yesterday's technical issues. And today we are going to continue it today also. So here, I think everyone are well prepared for this question, for this quiz. Please everyone join for the quiz. Still now only eight members are here. I need more members. Please join for the quiz first. Nine members only still now. Why? Just join everyone. You should join for this quiz, right? You'll also get knowledge from this. Please join for the quiz. I'm waiting for you all. Today's quiz code is 825591. You can also join through by joinmyqs.com in your browsers. Please join for the quiz. Still now only 10 members are here. This is not enough. I need more members in our Vietnam quiz show. Please join for the quiz first, everyone. So today we can start our quiz now. So today we will be skipping to the 16th question. I hope everyone remember about the last day's quiz. We had studied about airways, waterways, etc. And also about the Golden Corrilator National Highways. I hope everyone remembers about it. About igloos, everything. We had done so many quizzes. I hope everyone remembers about it. So now we are moving to our 16th question. Tranchments refers to option A, migration of animal in ranches. Option B, human migration in search of jobs. Option C, seasonal migration of people and herds from valleys to mountain and, uh, and vice versa. And option D, migration of nomads. Please answer. Time is running. Please be fast. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who are on the first in the first question. Here comes Anaga Shishupa like in the last day. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option C. That is seasonal migration of people and herds from valleys to mountain and worse. So... Six have given the right answers and four have not given the right answers. It's okay, we can try it in the next time. Let's see the explanation of it. Transmens is a seasonal movement of people. People who rear animals move in search of new pastures according to changes in seasons. The transmens system is prevalent in the Himalayas where there are several nomadic tribes such as the Gujars, Bakarwal, Gaddis and Changpas, who rear sheep and goats under this system. 
They move between high pastures in summer and lower valleys in Kashmir. So here it's saying about the transplants. So it is said that it's the seasonal movement of people, like the nomadic tribes, for example, the Gujars, Bakawas, Gaddis, and Changpas. This system is mostly prevalent in Himalayas. And also this is done by nomadic tribes, which I said earlier. So I hope everyone understand about it. Now let's move to the 17th question. Which one of the following is the longest national highway in India? Option A, NH44. Option B, NH42. Option C, NH45. And option D, NH8. Please try to give your answers. Just think about the roadways, transportation ways, which we usually used to hear, and try to give your answers fast. I'm waiting for your answers. There's only one person to give the answer. Try to give it. Don't leave it. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Isha and Saga in the first and second position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option A, that is NH44. Let's see the explanation of this question. National Highway 44. It is the longest national highway in India with a length of 4,112 kilometer running from Srinagar in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. This highway connects 11 states and about 30 important cities with each other. So the right answer was National Highway 44, NH44, and its correct length is it is the longest national highway and its current length is 4112 kilometers uh, from run it is running from srinagar the north to kanyakumari in the south that's too long and you should remember about this it's a gk fact and also it connects 11 states and also the 30 important cities with each other i hope everyone understand now let's move to the 18th question which among the following is the longest national waterway in India? We heard about uh, roadways. Now it's waterway. So option A is national waterway 3. Option B, national waterway 1. Option C, national waterway 2. And option D, national waterway 4. Try to give your answers. Only two more balance to give answers. I should get everyone's answer. Then only it will be a fun. Please give your answers fast. Only two more seconds. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Adindya V and Shanu in the first and second position. Congratulations, both of you. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is National Waterway 1. And only three have given the right answers. Most of them have given the wrong answers. 13 have not given the right answer. It's okay. We can try it in the next time. Um, let's see the explanation of this question. The National Waterway 1, NW1, or Genga Bhagirathi Hooghly River system is located in India and runs from Prayagraj in Uttar Pradesh to Haldia in West Bengal via Patna and Bhagalpur in Bihar across the Ganges River. It is 1,620 kilometer long, making it is the longest waterway in India. So this national waterway or the NW1, it is also known as Genga Bhagirathi Hooghly River System. And it's located in India where it runs from Prayagraj in Uttar Pradesh. You should remember about this. It's a GK uh, question that it starts from the Prayagraj Uttar Pradesh and to Haldia in West Bengal. And it runs through Wap Patna and Bhagalpur in Bihar it across, across the Ganges River. You should remember about it. And it is 1,620 kilometer long. That's why it is the longest waterway in India. And now let's move to 19th question. Mm. 
Consider the following statements. The railways carry heavy goods and people over long distances quickly and cheaply. Sea routes and oceanic routes are mostly used for transporting merchandise and goods from one country to another. Which of the statements given above is are correct? Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both and two. And option D, neither one nor two. So you should give the correct statements for this question. You should read out correctly and try to give your answers. Everyone should try to give the answers. Please be fast. Time is running. Only six more seconds balance. Four more to give the answers. Don't leave this question. You should try it out. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Shanu in the first position. Congratulations, Shanu. So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is both one and two. And everyone have given the right answer. I'm so happy to hear that. Now let's move to the 20th question. Which of the following is who are called mass media? Newspaper, radio, television. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2. Option B, 2 and 3. Option C, 1 and 3. And option D, all of the above. Try to give your answers. We are studying about these topics from our small ages onward, from our four standards. So try to give your answers fast. Which of the following are called mass media? And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who all are in the first. Here comes Saga and Anaga Sisipa in the second and third position. Congratulations, both of you. So the correct answer of this question is option D, that is all of the above. So all these four options are correct. And nine have given the right answers and only seven have not given the right answers. I think why? It's okay, we can try it out in the next question. Now let's see the explanation of this question. Mass media means technology that is intended to reach a mass audience. It is the primary means of communication used to reach the vast majority of the general public. The most common platforms for mass media are newspapers, magazines, radio, television and the internet. As we all know, mass media means it's the technology which is used to do a re uh, or to reach a mass audience. If we need a news to be gone to an another person or to a uh, public or general public, we need a mass audience. This is known as mass media. For example, we have newspapers, magazines, radio, television, etc. And I hope everyone understands. Now let's move to the 21st question. What are the uses of artificial satellites? Survey of forest, survey of underground, weather forecasting, disaster warning. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2. Option B, 2 and 3. Option C, 1, 2 and 3. And option D, all of the above. Try to give your answers. I think it's a little bit hard. But then also you can try this question and time's up. Who so have not given the answers? It's okay. Let's see the leaderboard. No change for Shana from the first position. And here comes Shivani in the fourth position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option D. That is all of the above. And I don't have given the right answers. And only seven have not given the right answers this time also. It's okay. We can try it in the next time. Let's see the explanation of this question. An artificial satellite is an object that people have made and launched into orbit using rockets. Satellites have helped in oil exploration, survey of forests, underground water, mineral wealth, weather forecast, and disaster warning. Uh, so as we all know, what is an artificial satellite? We have a natural satellite of our Earth, that is Moon. But here it's asking about the artificial satellite. And these are done by us. It's a man-made thing and it is launched in all uh, rockets to the orbit. 
and most of the artificial satellites are used to uh, see about the surface of forest, underground water, etc., etc. And I hope everyone will know about this in the future also. Then it will be helpful for you. Now let's move to the 22nd question. Consider the following statements. Airways are most expensive due to high cost of fuels. Air traffic is adversely affected by bad weather. Which of the statements given above is are correct? Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both will answer you. And option D, neither one nor two. So in this question, you should give the correct statement answer and read the questions clearly and give your answers. Please. Uh, so many are balanced to give the answers. I think why? Try to give your answers fast. I'm waiting for your answers. Only five more seconds balance. Three, two, one. Time's up. So now let's take the leaderboard. Here comes Saga in the first position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option C. That is both one and two. Both of the statements are correct. And some have not given the right answers. It's okay. We can try it in the next question. So let's move to the 23rd question now. Which of the following is the most commonly used means of transportation for short distances? Option A, waterway. Option B, roadways. Option C, railways. And option D, airways. So here the question is asking which of the following is the most commonly used means of transportation for short distance. You should read the questions. Don't take tension. Try to give it relaxedly. Time is going to finish it. And hands up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Anaga Shishipal Shivani and Patav in the second, third, fourth positions. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is roadways. And 16 have given the right answer. So happy to hear that. And three have not given the right answers. I think why? We can try it in the next time. So. Let's move to the 24th question now. Consider the following statements. The Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest railway system in the world. It is connecting St. Petersburg in Western Russia to Vladivostok on the Atlantic coast. Which of the statements given above is all correct? Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both one and two. And option D, neither one nor two. So here we should give the correct statement answer. Read through the questions correctly and give your answers fast. Time is running. Six are more balanced to give the answers. Try to give it and thumbs up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who all are in the first. Here comes Patav as Govin in the first position. Congratulations, Patav. So the correct answer is one only. That's option A. And only have who have given the right answer. Most of them have given the wrong answer. Uh, I think so. It was a little bit hard. Then also, I think now you understand what's the answer. Let's see the explanation. It is connecting St. Petersburg in Western Russia to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. That was the right statement. Now, let's move to the 25th question. <coughs> Consider the following statements. Navigable rivers and lakes are used as island waterway. The Great Lakes in North America is an example of inland waterways. Which of the statements given above is uh, correct? Uh, sorry, not correct. Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both one and two. And option D, neither one or two. Okay, the question is asking to give the not correct statements. Read it 
clearly and give your answers. Please be fast. Time is running. Don't leave the questions also. You should attend it. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who all are in the first. Here comes Shivani and Adulia in the third and fourth position. Congratulations to both of you. So the correct answer of this question is option D. That is neither one nor two. And Nan have given the right answers. And Nan have given the not right answers also. It's okay. We can try it in the next time. And now let's move to 26th question. Which organization looks after the National Highway of India? Option A, Central Road Research. Option B, Border Roads. Option C, National Highway Authority of India. And option D, none of the above. Try to give your answers first. Only three more seconds left. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Shivani and Anagashi Shipal in the second and fourth position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is National Highway Authority of India. And 30 have given the 13 have given the right answer. And only four have not given the right answer. We can try it in the next time. I hope everyone understands the answer. Now let's see the explanation of this question. The National Highway Authority of India, NHAI, is an autonomous agency of government of India set up in 1995 Act 1988 and is responsible for management of a network of over 50,000 kilometers of national highways out of 1,32,499 kilometers in India. So the full form, National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, it is an autonomous agency which is done by our government of India and it was set up by on 1995. It's a JK fact. You should always remember about this. NHAI was first set up in 1995. And this is this uh, system or this agency is responsible for its management of a network of over 50,000 kilometers of national highways out of 1,32,499 kilometers in India. I hope everyone understand and if you understand it then it will be helpful in your future. Now let's move to 27th question. Which of the following are the means of transportation? Roadways, airways, waterways, railways. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 and 2. Option B, 2 and 3. Option C, 1, 2 and 3. And option D, all of the above. Try to give your answers first. It's a simple question. I hope everyone can answer and most of them have not given the answers. Why think why? It's a basic question. And time's up. Now let's check the leaderboard. Here comes Aishirya Uden in the fifth position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option D, that is all of the above. All these things, roadways, airways, waterways, and also railways, these four are the correct answers. They are the means of transportation. Let's see the explanation. The one which I said itself, the four means of transport are roadways, railways, waterways, and airways. I said it was a basic question and most of them have not given the right answer. I think why it's okay. Now let's move to another question that our 28th question. Consider the following pairs. Internet, a means of communication, canal route, inland waterway, urban areas, closely built areas of houses, Compact settlement, areas where people are engaged in manufacturing, trade and service. 
Which of the above fail is all correct? Option A, one and two. Option B, two and three. Option C, one and three. And option D, all of the above. Read the questions thoroughly and give your answers. Time is there. Don't get tense. Try to give your answers. But don't miss the questions. Only three more seconds. And time's up. So now let's take the leaderboard. No change in the leaderboard. Everyone, congratulations. So the correct answer was option A, that is one and two, but no one have not given the right answers. That's so sad to hear. Everyone have given the wrong answers and everyone have given the wrong answer in the all of the above. You should try to understand the question. So let's move to the explanation. Urban areas, areas where people are engaged in manufacturing, trade and service and compact settlement, closely built areas of houses. I hope everyone understand urban areas means there's all the places where we we will be engaged to the manufacturing, trade, services, etc. Places are there in urban areas and also in compact settlement. These, these are the places where closely built areas of houses are there. Uh, and next time we can make it right. It's okay. Now let's move to 29 question. Where are the eight mountains located? Sorry, and these mountains located? Option A, North America. Option B, Asia. Option C, South America. And option D, Europe. Here the question is, where are the Andes mountains located? We had studied about this in our self standard and all. Try to give you answers fast. More have not given the answers. I think why? And thanks up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who are in the first. Here comes Saga in the second position. Congratulations. So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is South America. And six have given the right answers. And most of them have given the wrong answer. I think it was a little bit hard. It's okay. I hope everyone understand about this question also. We can make it right in the future. Let's see the explanation. Andes Mountains, located along the entire western coast of South America, the Andes Mountain range is about 4,500 miles. That means 7,242 kilometers long. So Andes Mountain is located in the entire western coast of South America. You should remember about it. It's located in the entire western coast of South America and its mountain range is 4,500 miles. That means 7,242 kilometers long. Now let's move to the 30th question. Consider the following statements. The village is rural settlement where people are engaged in activities like agriculture, fishing and forestry. An urban settlement is called scattered settlement. Which of the statements given above is one not correct? Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, both one and two. And option D, neither one nor two. Try to give your answers. Here the question is asking to give the not correct statements. And please read the questions thoroughly and try to give your answers. Time is running. Only five more seconds balance. And time's up. So now let's check the leaderboard. Let's see who all are in the first. So here comes Shivani in the second position. Congratulations. So the current answer was option B, that is two only. And only if I have given the right answer, most of them have not given the right answers. It's okay, we can write in the next time. I hope everyone understand what was your wrong. And let's see the explanation. An urban settlement is called compact settlement. We had heard about this in the earlier questions also. Now, this was our last question. I hope 
everyone understand all the questions now let's check the leaderboard champions today so in the first position Partha was going with 10,140 points. Second position, Shivani with 9,330 points. Third position, Saga with 9,000 points. In the fourth position, Anaga Shinshapal with 8,570 points. In the fifth position, Aishwarya Udayan with 7,300 points. In sixth position, Suhana N with 7,140 points. In seventh position, Isha with 7,090 points. In eighth position, Adulya V with 6,660 points. In ninth position, Vaishnavi with 6,990 uh, 6,390 points and at last in the 10th position Nidhi with 6,230 points. Congratulations to all participants who had joined this quiz and also congratulations to our leaderboard champions. This is Mahalakshmi AS signing off from Portal Soul Service Academy. Thank you. Good night.